Morning guys, um, tell you what, welcome to Monday. Massive day on today, but um, we'll just see how much we can get done because it's uh, supposed to be about 40, 40 odd degrees today. It's gonna be a scorcher. So uh, I've just dropped, dropped my son off at uh, daycare. Um, tried to get a bit of an early start. My um, other boys are um, got the day off. They got borders, borders weekend. Um, so they get a long, long weekend. They had a great time camping i think everyone had a good time um so we're going to head off and start to get it done we've got the toro grandstand 48 loaded up so it's it's uh, first day on the job so we'll see how it goes um and we've also got the 30 inch um time master um so yeah looking forward to seeing how it performs out on site that uh, new grandstand i think it'll go pretty well see you in a bit guys Morning guys, so just on our first site for the morning. Just gonna get the uh, blade edger out just to uh, just get these edges edges done. Favorite Campbelltown again, just uh, doing our strata run for the morning. It's gonna be a really hot one today, so we'll uh, grab the steel edger, blade edger, and we'll get these edges done. Hey okay guys, so just getting these edges done in first. Just going around quickly, just do the blade edge, nice and quick and easy. Uh, this one's the bent shaft uh, edger. Uh, it'd be interesting getting the straight shaft one, I think that might be better. But I'll, um, I'll just have to wait and see. There's always something, isn't there? You always want to buy something. Hey guys, just out on site. Uh, first run with the Toro. Wow. Unbelievable. Mate, what a cut. Very, very happy, very impressed. It's a weapon. Love this little um, couple of pictures here as well. It's an update, a new version. Um, yeah, fantastic. Very happy. Just, just smash this. These uh, bottle brushes are a bit of a trim back. So the Makita, they're just hanging over the uh, the driveway here in the gutter. They're just a little, little bit messy, so I'll give them a bit of a cut back and um, get them off the uh, off the roadway here. Got the second second job, guys, for the morning. Just been asked to uh, just go around and spray, just do some roundup, just around some of the just that see that brick wall there, just that edges. Just just asked me to put some uh, roundup along that brick wall there. Apparently, grass is growing underneath and into her um, garden, but you know. Uh, I hate doing that. I think it looks horrible. I prefer to whip snip the edges, but um, you know, round up. In my opinion, I think round up edges just look horrible. But um, sometimes you've got to do what they want you to do. Um, just how it works. Get loaded up and head off to the next shop. Hey guys, just in a, um, it's a Mount Tannen, Plain Tree Drive. Uh, Plain Tree Drive for um, obvious reasons. It's um, at our next lawn for the day. Uh, we're just gonna do the front lawn with the Toro, time, uh, the grandstand, we'll use the Time Master at the back there. There's also a bit of paspalum in this lawn that we need to spray, so we'll give that a hit as well whilst we're here. Okay guys, just at our uh, next site. This is, um, this isn't one of our sites. This is Harrington Grove. Um, it's like a, uh, we've got a restaurant, bar and grill, uh, country club they have. Um, so we do a property across the road from the um, country club. It's actually a really nice, um, really nice estate. So we're just gonna do the front with the grandstand and we'll do the back, same again, we'll do the back with the uh, Time Master. Okay guys, just finished up uh, on this lawn here. I've got to tell you, I'm very, very happy with that uh, grandstand. Cut quality is fantastic. It is, it's quick. And it's, it's great. I really, I honestly really, really do like that. Um, one thing I wanted to uh, let you guys know is that I'm not um, I'm 
not an ambassador for anyone. I'm not sponsored or I'm not an ambassador for Toro. Um, so anything that I'm saying is, or any sort of advice or anything that I'm saying isn't uh, slanted towards any particular brand. Um, I've tried out, I've tested all of these stand-on mowers in Australia, except for Skag. The only uh, brand that wouldn't lend me a demo was Skag. Um, so Toro, Toro, you've probably seen the other videos. I've had heaps of demos, like I've had the Husqvarna, I've had the Bobcat, I've had um, every every other stand-on mower. I know Spartan, I know Bushranger, Spartan are bringing out a stand-on mower. Um, I tried Gravely stand-on mowers. This is the one I picked. Um, $13,180. And absolutely every every cent of that is my money. So it's not, not anyone else's. So um, that's the one that I picked, guys. And um, if you look over there, that's one of the reasons, cut quality. At our uh, next site, guys, just had a bit of lunch, got some fuel, just had some servo sandwiches, and um, it's about to get stuck into it. So let's get the blade edger out and let's do some edging. Right guys, that one's squared away. Uh, managed to do most of that with the uh, grandstand. Actually cut up, cut quite nice, looked great. Um, tell you what, it's starting to heat up now. It's getting up around the 30, 33 degree mark now. It's uh, about one o'clock. So, whew. it's definitely uh, the start of summer, I think. It's gonna be another hot one. So, bring it on. Our next uh, job, this one was a bit of an overgrown one. Wow, it just smoked it. Um, it just, it smashed it. No problems at all. Just, just wow. Got a uh, question last night on Instagram, guys. So as to what type of line I use. I'll tell you what, I, I get a fair few questions via Instagram. Um, I don't mind it. Um, Ausline, so this is uh, Brett through Brett MacArthur Mowers. 2.4 square line. That's what it looks like. Uh, I've been using this stuff for years and I really like it. So you can get a 2.4, 2.7 and, and 3 mil. I find the 2.4 is good. Um, so yeah, that's what sort of trimmer line I, I use if, if anyone's interested well the guy in, on Instagram last night was but um, if anyone else wants to know um, Ausline MacArthur Mowers okay so uh, we're just at our last uh, acre job out here at Grassmere and um, gotta tell you very happy with this, this team the, um, the Toro um, Grandstand and the uh, Time Master. Great little duo. Um, working out really well. Got a issue, I had a little issue today with my um, Shindawa, Shindawa Whippersnipper. I've got a, um, got a really little pinprick hole in the um, priming bulb. So I'm gonna um, gonna give this a good clean up tonight. I'm just gonna give it a good good hit with the compressed air. Just give it a good clean up, um, and yeah, just change that that little primer bulb. Um, just noticed today, just really really hard to um, really really hard to start in the heat. So. I'm not sure it's probably not because I keep all my stuff in this metal big toolbox on the side here it gets super hot in here 
But um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just might have to bit of play around with it. Might start just keeping it in the back of the ute or something like that. But just um, I'll fix that primer bulb. And see how we go. It was just a little bit temperamental today, and uh, to be honest with you, I don't know what I would replace this one with. Like what brand I would. Um, replace it with i was thinking about maybe husqvarna or still i haven't decided yet um i just want something nice and lightweight and uh plenty of power 26 27 cc something like that but um yeah she was a she was a hot old day today that's for sure so we'll just blow this job off uh, I think we'll call it a day for today. So um, thanks everyone, everyone for uh, watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the videos. Um, any comments, um, just put them down below and I'll, um, I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you tomorrow. See you guys. off and um, had a little pinhole in the um, fuel bowl but they've given me I've just ducked into the um, local mower shop give me the wrong it's, it's the right size but just that rim around there just that that rim is just too big it's the wrong it's the wrong one so I've pulled it apart and uh, gone to install it but it, it won't it's different to this one here so I'm gonna have to duck in and see if I can get um, the correct size it still runs still still runs okay but I just noticed it's just got a little pinhole in it and I just thought oh it's probably a quick easy fix but um, it's not a quick easy fix when you don't have the right um, fuel bowl or priming priming bulb a bulb they call them priming bulb so um anyway guys thanks for watching hopefully we can get this uh sorted quick easy fix hopefully tomorrow we'll um we'll give it a crack see you tomorrow guys